Emma writes to come here because ever since you know, when the election is strictly backward, ever forward, never. Every Warmington made it clear that no PNP councillor will spend his money. And then a day later, the office of the Prime Minister released that Everal Warmington resigned. But the interview I listened to last night clearly stated from Everal Warmington himself that he was fired from the cabinet. So once again, Andrew Holness lied. Then Winston Ennis now with a leaked voice note stating that he is stepping away from the Jamaica Labour Party because he has to protect his family and protect his values. And then the Prime Minister called a meeting with the councillors and MPs, emergency meeting. And then another voice note was sent out that I will work with the party and move forward. But I don't know if it sounds the same to me as how it sounds to Uno. It sounds like this man had a script with a gun at his head and was forced to say what he had to say. And then people would want to ask me, why do I support Mark Jefferson Golding? I, Jaim Fabian, Lucretius, Philophocious Mitchell, will support Mark Golding because he is a man of integrity and he will never misinform the people of Jamaica. Andrew Holness, it's time for you to pack your bags and go. We cannot leave you no more with the keys of this country. It's time to go. Time come. So big war started on a Clarendon with the JLP them again. This time, I don't want a Mike Henry section where the success of Mike Henry, where Mike Henry are groomed over the years, are going to be sidelined because Andrew Wallace wants to put feather down a Clarendon. Now, people, it is like a BS time ago in a, in a Jamaican Labour Party, people. It's like everything I turn over. It's like everything I move up. But bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Eh? Me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful evening. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always uh, put God first in every uh, any situation just always remember for call upon God always uh, remember for pray because a prayer day keep the devil away now my viewers and my subscribers we have a lot to cover inside this update so guess what make we run the intro and come back we soon forward So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Big up to all of my viewers. Big up to all of my subscribers. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're a new viewer's first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. And people, we are now on our way to 90k subscribers so subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet all right and remember to share the content to a friend a family a loved one all right tell them subscribe to the dancer royalty review tv now people all hell broke loose and it come like every day or something new trust me it come like labor party a jamaican favorite channel trust me it come like a, a jamaican favorite TV channel, the Jamaican Labour Party. Now, hell broke loose again, people. After all our guana, up a send catching me, people. It is now alleged that the war start over there in Clarendon as well. Why? Feda did forget um, the deputy mayor, a KSA MC, and him not take it because. They have a better plans for him. Now, this plan is far further to go to Clarendon. Allegedly, my people. It's far further to go to Clarendon, allegedly. Go be Mike Henry successor. Because, as you know, Mike Henry can't run again. Because Mike Henry totally, totally burned out. You understand me? I say, him literally burned out to nothing now. So, him can't run for MP again. So, Mike Henry did have somebody where my chain from way back when. 
from way back when I talk about him right hand people. You understand me? I say, no, it is now alleged that Andrew Wallace caused affliction down there in Clarendon when he said that, um, he allegedly said that, um, Feder will now become the MP for Clarendon because it is alleged that Feder come from Clarendon. So now we don't see which part everything I come from. You understand me, I say, people, but it now go just go so because Mike Henry no approve of that. And not just Mike Henry no approve of that. The person what them a chain from when he come, he become the the, 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 the MP for the other part of Clarin and the him now go just take it so. So it a cause affliction over there in Clarendon. Now people, I am gonna play this audio for you guys. And you guys can take a listen, take a look, and leave your honest opinion down below in the comment section. And if you don't like the video yet, people, now is the right time. Click the like button right now. It's not taking anything at all from you. And if you don't subscribe it, then now is the right time as well. Click the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell, so whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Help us to get to 100k subscribers, people. Alright, now, people, check out this video, check out, check out this audio, I should say, and let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Check it out. All hell breaking loose in the Jamaica Labour Party. But there's a lot of wheeling and dealing that is taking place. My good friend, Joel Williams, Councillor for the Denby Division, long-standing councillor indeed. He also served as Deputy General Secretary for the Labour Party. Has been Michael, Michael, Lester Michael Henry, or Mike Henry, Lieutenant for years, his protege. And Mike has been grooming Joel over the years to take over from him. But it seems as if Andrew Michael, bro God Radham Holness, has other plans up his sleeve. I don't know how many of you know that Feder, that's the outgoing mayor of Kingston and St. Andrew, Feder, is a Clarendon man. Strong roots in our community in Clarendon. And indeed, we understand that Feder is on his way to Central Clarendon. But guess what? The, and Feder is from Savannah Cross. That community in Clarendon is called Savannah Cross. That's where Savan, um, Feder is from. As a matter of fact, he often threw a party inside there. Whenever he's on bird shooting and so on, that's where he stays, you know. So he's no stranger to Clarendon. But the big thing is that Joel Williams will be sworn in as mayor for the Clarendon Municipal Corporation come tomorrow. And it is argued that this is a reward to keep him quiet. So Winston Mirage will be hosted and Joel Williams will be placed as mayor. Of course, you know, there's no love lost between um, Mitchell, I mean, between Mirage and members within the Jamaica Labour Party. It is also said that there has been a, a fallout fermenting because the young stop by Mokadir, it is said that he got some amount of comfort and support from Winston Mirage because Mirage was quite upset how they dealt with him. So all the moving parts are coming together. Now, my people, on a hear what they going over there in Clarendon, people. On a hear what's going on over there in Clarendon. So, um, Feder are going to be the next MP for Clarendon. 
Feather they could be the next MP for Clarendon, and that is what Andrew always chose. So, the man who did go become the MP for Clarendon is now the mayor of Clarendon. You understand me, I say people, plus the mayor of Clarendon, we have some sympathy, and the other brother that switched from JLP, from Donga Mokore, to the PNP and win. And I am talking about Romain Morris. See him by your screen, the people. Yeah, man, him switch from the, the JLP to the PNP and beat up the JLP same time. And him same one. My brother, they did say can win a Clarendon. Him same one. Him did say can win a Clarendon, but him win him seat. But people, it look like Romain did smell the rat and see the tumble on the go on. Because a pure tumbling down a go on people. People are scattered and people are do all kind of madness. All manner of things people are do people. You understand me I say? No, it just definitely not look good on the Jamaican Labour Party. What's going on inside the Jamaican Labour Party? Is it that prior they beat them down? Is it that the prior I beat them bad? Is it that God have beat them? Pan them two foot them? Me no know. But this... Um, audio people have a problem with it. Check it out. I want to assure my fellow labor rights and all of my Jamaican brothers and sisters that I remain a committed member of the Jamaica Labor Party. There is no issues which may arise that we cannot settle internally. I want to thank everybody at all levels of the party for their love and support. Let us remain fully committed to the cause of working to make Jamaica a better place. God bless you. Now, everybody has said, it's so like say, this man did force to do it, this um, vice note. Because of how him sound inside of it, it sound like him under pressure, like somebody have a tool in him head and I tell him what to say. That is what everyone is saying right now, both JLP, PNP, and Independent. Everybody has said the same thing. And that is the talk of the tone from man and say, the way how him sound inside of this um, vice note, him definitely not sound like himself. And then again, the people that ask, why did he come out and say that? Or why did he put it in the paper that... A leak, the vice note leak, when I him send it out himself. So everybody know they pan him case and them a call him liar. While some of them a say, them not really want to call him a liar. Because a force them force him to do what him do. A badness them use. Government badness and jewelness. You see me? They want to say that them use to keep him back. So him not go to foreign today and not get his sworn in. Now, people, how it go, me no know. But, to my understanding, people, I'll be a banger and a go on. Now, I'm going to play the first voice note, and then I'm going to play back the second voice note, and you're going to tell me if both of them sound alike or one of them sound more pressuring. Check it out. Social media, I just want you all to know that I have walked away from the Jamaica Labour Party I've walked away from the KSAMC. I won't be going down there to be sworn in. I have to protect my dignity. I have to protect my values. And I have to protect my family. And the way I've been treated and disrespected, I am not having any more of it. And I've walked away. So officially, I am an independent until I return to Jamaica on the 3rd. I am leaving here tomorrow morning and i will return on the third i am tired of the disrespect and i am going no further with it sorry that i may have disappointed some of you in this group because i know a lot of you you know look up to me and see me as somebody you can you know talk to somebody you would like to have around but the cup is full and my heart is overflowing and my family say i should walk and I'm walking. Sorry for the disappointment I may have cost some of you. But life goes on. Okay. Each and every. So many people 
that is uh, the first voice note that released when him say him now nah run back for the Jamaican Labour Party him cut ties with them and all of that people but this morning now when you check it out a different voice note come out say him still a run for the Jamaican Labour Party a one party and the whole of them a fight for Jamaica and such and such and such so this is the other voice note I'm wanting to tell me the difference between the two vice know them. I want to assure my fellow labor rights and all of my Jamaican brothers and sisters that I remain a committed member of the Jamaica Labor Party. There is no issues which may arise that we cannot settle internally. I want to thank everybody at all levels of the party for their love and support. Let us remain fully committed to the cause of working to make Jamaica a better place. God bless you. To be honest with you people, it sound to me like him evil. I shed little tears. The way how him sound, him just sound a way like him evil cry people. I'm not saying I cry, but I just a way how him sound. Him sound like him definitely under pressure for you. And when people start pointing it out to me, which me did already hear, but me just never did really want to say nothing. But everybody start pointing it out to me. I mean, I say, what? Then, me have to put it to the people in my ear, um, the people in my opinion. And this matter, how does it sound, people? Does it sound like this man under pressure? Fi take back him talk, recheck him talk, and all of them something they want to think. Want to think, my viewers and my subscribers. Because right now, I just be a corruption of one. I'm going to understand how... So much corruption are going in our country and nobody now will accountable for all of these corruption that is going on between these politician people. Remember, you know, man, this man come out, you know, remember this man come out, you know, and him see a bag of things in my, my protect him dignity and him protect him family and all of them something there. Who are you protecting your family from? That is the question. Who you protect your family from? And then little bit after you say that, then this outrageous vice note release and a be things attack and all of that people. So who him a protect him family from? Who offer him? Why him did a run with a foreign? Why him did a go away so quick? Such a short notice. Him just a chip out, go away a foreign and come back. But all of a sudden, everything just changed from them calling me and with you. you are, and then it come out say, it come out say, um, you never released that vice note at leaky leak. You will lose your credibility be, be, um within the people them, because the people them take you as a big fat liar right now. The people them don't even trust you anymore because the people them say you will let them down. You will lie to them and all of them someday. Does it even really worth put your career on the line for that, or because of force or force? Me no know. Let me know. Tell me the public if you were forced. But people, stay to thought and that down below in the comment section. And as usual, people, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. And turn on the post notification bell for new content. Alright? Now, me I'm going to leave on with this video where this woman upset because she said, the PNP a try to make Warmington get fire and all of them something there. Which the PNP now try to make Warmington get fire. Warmington shouldn't be fire a long time ago because Warmington now no respect to nobody at all. And these hooligans that disrespect um, females so badly. Why do females always defend these people? That are one of, one of the questions that I would like to ask. Why do females always defend hooligan that go up against them you understand me i say any man will go up against a woman like say him have two tongue like a woman then a woman should never give that man him respect but me don't know only tell me why 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 don't below in the comment section all right now check out the video people and leave a like on this video good evening good evening good evening you know, I've been watching this saga from Monday. And uh, we the people in St. Catherine are distraught. 
Everal Warmington is our MP. He's somebody that we love. When me tell you love, we love him. When he come out to vote, no questions asked when he come out to him. When he come out to help, no question asked. He's going to help everybody and anybody. Even if you not come from in constituency, he help PMP and labor right. No. This integrity commission that I and other persons in Jamaica think that it's a PNP organization. We are asking you kindly, kindly, please and thanks, leave Everal Warmington alone. You know, take his name out of your mouth. And Everal Warmington put himself in a constituency, you know. How we put him there? He is representing us. We want him there. Because he's a good member of parliament. And me watch, me not ask him no question, me not go talk to him nor nothing. I am not having any discussion with anybody. But what I am asking you, Integrity Commissioner, come off of Everal Warmington name. You don't have more dirt in a full organization than anything else. You don't leave Everal Warmington. Every day you just get up and up on the man name, so. You don't leave Everal Warmington alone. We all know how he is. And we all have faults. If every day you get up and you take one tick and a juke one snake, a juke snake, one day I'm going to sting you. Leave him alone. He has resigned from parliament. We don't leave him alone. We want him in our constituency. Until he says to us, I want to go. And I know that he wants to go. We don't take it for joke things, say. Una get a ride out away, Mado. Mr. Warmington wants to resign. We the people are begging him to stay. But may I ask Integrity Commission. Una leave the man alone. Leave him alone. Go talk about other people. Go talk about the dirt we wanna have in our people's national party. Leave Everal Warmington alone. If you ever make we get up and talk black road down here, see? A, a, a block the road and nobody can on a left Everal Warmington leave him alone leave Everal Warmington take his name out of the mouth and rough lie on the tell him you know and no fast on the fast with him you know no say my go answer why don't you look pan chump where, 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 where I do all kind of something and them I lock him up and all and something there and, and left, you know, left him alone because you are MP enough to talk